Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Awad Harry Iliasu, CEO Harry Pottery and Incubators. Today, I'm going to teach you some of the basic tips that will help you to understand the major causes of the choice of embryo within shell during the incubation process. It is not uncommon that most of the incubator users particularly those using a still air incubator during the process of egg incubation might have one or more of this kind of problem of days of embryo using shell during the process of egg incubation. So today I'm going to bring to you some of the basic causes of this kind of problem and probably some of the remedies of the problem. So stay with me for this discussion. Number one, frequent failure of the heat source. If maybe you are using a kerosene lamp in the process of powering the incubator, the frequent failure of that lamp most likely causes the base of embryo. That's why we are always advising our customers not to rely on one kerosene lamp. Make sure that you have additional two or three extra lamps standby. In case one fails, then you can have an immediate replacement of the failed one. So relying on one source of the machine or lamp may likely result in the frequent failure of the heat source and eventually lead to the days of embryo in shell. That's number one. Number two, location of the incubator itself. You know, here in Africa, we have an excess supply of uh, energy from the sun. Particularly during the day hours, the temperature will be extremely higher than at night. So if the incubator is being placed outside, it will likely be exposed to the direct sun rays during the day hours. And this may likely result in the high temperature. And by getting high temperature, the embryo will be overheated and eventually died. So incubator is expected to be placed in an enclosed structure, be it a room, be it a store, or any other related enclosed structure where there will be no direct sun rays. So this is very, very important. Number next is the turning of egg. Egg has to be turned at least three times in a day. If you have chance, you can turn more than three times. You can turn four times, and you can even turn five times at regular interval as far as you have a time to do that. So improper turning of egg or irregular turning of egg may likely result in the dice of embryo in shape as well. So you have to take note. Number next is the poor humidity. You know, humidity plays a significant role in the process of egg incubation, particularly if you are using a still air incubator. You know, a still air incubator is an incubator which uses some holes for the air to be penetrated in and out of the machine, for the oxygen to be inhaled by the embryos and for them to exhibit the carbon dioxide outside the machine. So, Poor humidity control results in the dyes of embryo using a machine, particularly in the last three days of the incubation process. That last three days of the incubation is the most important days for you to have regular control of the humidity. In these three days, you need to increase humidity from 40% to 50 or even 60% so that the embryo will have the required humidity for it to be healthy enough to get its salt out of the machine. The last but not the least 
it is the lockdown timing. What we mean by the lockdown is that the last three days of the incubation are expected to be completely locked down. The incubator must be locked. There is no reason for you to be opening and closing the incubator all the time. This last three days is for the embryo to position itself, is for the embryo to strengthen itself, is for the embryo to be well coordinated so that it will be strong enough to hit the eggshell and get itself out of the egg. Thank you very much and happy to see you on the next episode of the video.